So what we think is you need the various components. Now, do you have to implement them all together at the same time immediately to start with? No. Take it step by step. You probably already, in your organization, you probably have all some elements already exist, but at, at, uh, at, uh, at a certain level. Can you enhance them? Maybe you have three or four. Can you build the other three? Okay. What we are saying, and, and if you want to climb that maturity steps, you want to go up towards step of, uh, three and four and five, you really need to think about implementing the whole system. Now, what again, we are not selling this. Yeah, obviously, we, we sell services. Okay, but this is just a concept. You can take it and tomorrow start working on something like this. It's public already. You have handout in your pocket uh, in your marketing folder about this stuff. You don't have to come back to us. Okay, what we're saying, or you can adopt any other model in the world. We're promoting the concept here that we think if you want to look for organizational success, in the area of product and program management, which is a huge component of any organization, okay, then you need to start to think uh, more about maturity if you're not already doing so. <coughs> Again, it may seem a lot, but it doesn't have to be. I believe in taking baby steps. Take the steps. Start somewhere and build and improve. As we mentioned, organizational change takes years. It's not something you can do in one week or one month or one year. And it's not something you can hire a consultant to do it for you. Okay. What we close with a few comments here is that, and for a fast forward, if you believe in this stuff, if you believe in these principles and concepts that we share with you, consider them. If you don't, don't bother. Don't waste your money on something you don't believe in. So the key is don't look at it. This is not a new trend. We are not advertising a trend here. But we are saying this is core. If you believe in it, then go all the way. If you don't believe in it, don't even try. And then only to fail six months later because maybe you were not really committed from the start. I mean, you or your management. Okay. Uh, define the objective before you start. Okay. Obtain alignment among key stakeholders. You need to have that defined before you start moving. Okay? Handle. If you want to do it in stages, handle the core areas first, one at a time, and then move forward. Try it on a few projects. If it works, improve it, expand it. If you are working in a big company, you probably have a vision where you can implement this. Look at one division implement it. If it works, expand it. If it doesn't work, then you know. Okay? But you have to be fair and give it the proper sequence. Uh, as you implement it in a new small division, captures the learning. How can you improve? How can you change it? Okay? Uh, and then you can move to the other area within the ring in order to start to implement those. At the, at the start, you have to have elements of all, all seven. You cannot have nothing from one area. But I'm saying is that, you know, you can have maybe more by uh, uh, common sense or by nature, you can have all elements exist already, and then you start to build. I'm sure every organization has some kind of performance criteria. You have some kind of training program, professional development. You have some kind of knowledge management. You already have some of these things, I'm sure, already exist within the, within the organization. Now, what we are saying here, start to systemize them. Okay. Start to build on the system in order to ensure enhancement as you move forward. Again, take it step by step. Continuous improvement, Kaizen. Okay. Going back to the Japanese. You build, you improve, you continue to improve as you go forward. Patience is important in this case. Now, I know in many organization change project, we always want to look for the low hanging fruit. It's a good idea to have the low hanging fruits, but be careful. Okay? Just the cartoon here. Uh, this is the manager. If you're not familiar with deliberate cartoon, this guy represents management. So they are hanging fruit, so I'm happy about it. Go, go get it. But then you check them in the eye. Now why check them in the eye? Because the team members are playing with them. Okay? So basically, what we are saying here, yes, an organization change people, manage to see results quickly. But let's be careful in not chasing short term. I mean, this is the moral, at least the way I read this. Let's be careful in chasing the, the low term, the initial, the low-hanging fruit and forgetting about the strategic vision and strategic objective. If you're not willing to sacrifice some short-term gain for the long-term, 
benefit the sustainability of the organization, you'll probably be chasing short term. I, I think, I'm not sure if some of you are familiar with the name Alan Greenspan. Yeah, he was the uh, chairman or uh, the head of the American uh, Reserve Bank, which means the guy who controlled maybe the money flow of the world for many years. He's, uh, he was there for how many years. He said one of the biggest problems with growth in the world, okay, an organizational growth in the world, is basically CEOs. Why? Especially in public company, because they focus on the quarterly return in order to please the stakeholder, not on the strategic long-term vision of the organization. So what one thing that was hurting the growth of the organization is there's so much focus on the long-hanging food and on short-term gain rather than long-term sustainability of the organization. Okay. Now obviously, this is uh, not every organization is like this, and sometimes we have to learn how to balance short-term with long-term, and not easy. Uh, being a CEO of a very small company, I can tell you, is a pain. So imagine, you know, the like of GE and the like of uh, some of the big organizations that you have, Dubai or Sabic, or uh, that are probably uh, have hundreds of thousands and thousands of people around the world. Build, manage, improve. That's the type of maturity. How we go up the steps. Okay. <coughs> Honestly, we believe. Okay. that it is a significant contribution to the bottom line if you have a proper system in place and product management. It's faster delivery of product. This is not only my personal belief. It's, I've showed you some studies to show this. It avoids duplication of a single opportunity. It helps us minimize waste of launching product within, without proper evaluation through some of the gate principles. Okay. Uh, minimize errors and enhance quality. Uh, service provider, maybe better customer satisfaction. Uh, Nonprofit and government, maybe more focused service. Regardless who you are, you can reach benefit from better system in the area of product management. You've got to really think about it as a competitive advantage, okay? And or you can think of it as a lot of work and don't bother. Okay. With this, I come close my presentation.